Before we discuss redistribution specific issues, I want you to remember one thing, and that is the redistribution process is an import process. And what that means is that you are configuring a certain routing protocol to import routes from another source of routing information. So that other source of routing information could be another dynamic routing protocol, it could be static routes, it could be directly connected networks, all of those apply. But what I also want you to take away from this is the fact that the routes have to be in the routing table. It's not good enough for a static route just to be configured. It's not good enough for the routes to be in the routing protocol data structure, such as the EIGRP topology table or the OSPF database. That is not good enough. The routes have to be used by that border router, that router that is connected to different routing domains. For example, EIGRP and OSPF. That router has to be using that route in the routing table in order for it to be successfully redistributed. So if you have a static route and that static route is not in the routing table, then that static route can't be redistributed. If you're trying to redistribute from EIGRP and OSPF and EIGRP routes are not in the routing table, then they can't be redistributed into OSPF as an example. So it's really important that you troubleshoot those issues first, the issues related to EIGRP, the issues related to OSPF, the issues related to administrative distance, causing routes not to be installed in the routing table. That has to be solved first before you even look at the issues common to redistribution for the various routing protocols. So OSPF v2, OSPF v2 for IPv4. What are some of the common reasons that we might struggle with the redistribution of routes into OSPF v2? Well, number one is the omission of the subnets keyword. The subnets keyword is really, really important because it controls whether OSPF redistributes classful networks or classless networks. So without the subnets keyword, it'll only redistribute those classful networks. So if routes are missing that are not default class A, B, or C routes, that is more than likely the reason why. You forgot the subnets keyword during the redistribution process. Stub areas are designed to prevent the uh, injection of type 5 LSAs into that particular area. So if you have a stub area configured, or even a totally stubby area configured, there is no way to have type 5 LSAs inside of that area. So if you configure a router in that area to perform redistribution, it's not going to happen. Because when you do redistribution, you end up with type 5 LSAs being injected into that area by the autonomous system boundary router. So it can't be a stub area. What would you have to do? You'd have to create a not so stubby area instead or completely remove that stub area. The metric type. If you are not experiencing the um, path selection by your routers or the, route, or the routing of traffic within your autonomous system, your OSPF domain, as you intended after redistribution was performed, it might be because the metric type E2 versus E1 was not correctly configured. So you might have to modify that metric type to get the results you expect. And then route maps are very, very powerful. They allow you to granularly control the routes that are redistributed. You can control which routes are or are not redistributed. You can control the metric of that route being redistributed. You can control the metric type of the route being redistributed. So uh, the route maps, you will have to be able to troubleshoot and you'll have to also make sure that the correct route map is applied to that redistribution process.